Welcome. So what I'm going to do is show you how to solve this quadratic equation by applying the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula becomes very helpful uh, when we've tried maybe to solve by factoring, or maybe we tried to solve by completing the square, but it maybe kind of came too much work. And we always can go back and use the quadratic formula to, again, find the values of x that are going to make this equation true. So what we're going to do, there's a couple steps that we have to make sure we follow. First of all, there's our quadratic equation or function has to be in our standard form, the ax squared plus bx plus c. It cannot be in our vertex form. Otherwise, we have to make sure we convert it back over to the standard form. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be able to determine the discriminant. And if you notice, the discriminant is what's really under our square root in the quadratic formula. And we're going to determine the discriminant first because that's just going to tell us what type of solutions that we're going to have. And remember, our solutions, um, our zeros are our roots, but also our x-intercepts. That's what they represent. So by determining what this number is going to be, we'll be able to determine you know, if we're going to have one, two solutions, imaginary solutions, and so forth. Um, and then we're just going to apply the rest of the work to be able to solve for x. So the first thing is when we have it in the standard form, I want to be able to determine what is my a, b, and my c, because I need to plug them into this. So it's very kind of simple, but I always like to start in this point. So by this equation, I can see that my a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, and c is equal to 5. Therefore, I can always go back and check this to make sure, like, am I plugging in the right number um, or not? The next thing is now I want to determine what the discriminant is. So the discriminant is going to be b squared minus 4 times a times c. So I'm, now I'm just going to plug in my values. So I'll have 4 squared. And I'll put them in parentheses just to remember that I'm plugging them in, minus 4 times a times c. Do a little math. 16 minus 4 times 1 times 5 is 20. That equals negative 4. Therefore, since I have a negative number, remember that negative number is going to be under my square root. I automatically now know that my solutions are going to be imaginary, meaning I'm not going to actually have any real x-intercepts. But that's just very helpful, and we'll still go ahead and evaluate to find the exact values if they're um, imaginary or complex. So now I'm just going to complete the rest of the quadratic formula. So x equals opposite of b, so that's going to be negative 4, plus or minus the square root of negative 4 divided by 2 times a, which is 1. Now, we can, by using our um, complex numbers or imaginary numbers, we can simplify the square root of negative 4 by um, taking the square root of it and then taking the square root of a negative 1, breaking up into negative 1 and 4, and taking the square root of negative 1 and representing that with i. So therefore, I'll have x equals negative 4 plus or minus 2i divided by 2. Then you see is that I can divide this 2 into both of these, both of my terms. So my final answer would be x equals a negative 2 plus or minus i. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve with the quadratic formula. Thanks.